Here are some phrases from the document of the Secretariat for World Order, which were distributed at the Des Moines Unsaid Meeting. We are the living sponsors of the great Cecil Rhodes' will of 1877, in which Rhodes devoted his fortune to the extension of British rule throughout the world and colonization by British subjects of the entire continent of Africa, the Holy Land, the Valley of the Euphrates, the islands of Cyprus and Candia, the whole of South America, the islands of the Pacific not heretofore possessed by Great Britain, the whole of the Malay Archipelago, the seaboard of China and Japan, the ultimate recovery of the United States of America as an integral part of the British Empire. We stand with Lord Milner's credo. We too are British race patriots, and our patriotism is the speech, the traditions, the tr principles, the aspirations of the British race. Do you fear to take this stand at the very last moment when this purpose can be realized? Do you not see that failure now is to be pulled down by the billions of Lilliputians of lesser race who care little or nothing for the Anglo-Saxon system? At the Fourth World Congress meeting in 1987, some other bad remarks about common people were made. I'm going to play them for you now. For instance, here is David Lang, a Montreal international investment banker, one of their PAC, decreeing that these environment and economic activities of the world order not be shared with the public. I suggest, therefore, that this be sold not through a democratic process. That would take too long and devour far too much of the funds to educate the cannon fodder, unfortunately, which populates the earth. We have to take almost an elitist program that we can see beyond our swollen bellies and look to the future in time frames and in results which are not easily understood or which can be, with intellectual honesty, be reduced down to some kind of simplistic definition.